Hey guys, minor sawdust, it's not dandruff by the way, doing some woodwork in here. I've got an experiment for you guys, so we're going to try it. We're going to try carbon fibre with a 3D printed piece of plastic. So instead of using carbon fibre filament, which would have been a lot easier and probably save a lot of money, I decided to put a layer of real carbon fibre fabric on top of some plastic. Let's hope this works. I thought of a few experiments and ways of doing it, we're just going to go through a video. Let's just have some fun. Let's keep the surface of a PLA print. I have tried various methods, but this is the easiest. Just spray a little bit of contact adhesive on both sides. This method is so much more easier by sticking the carbon fiber on top of epoxy resin, thinner and deadly. Let's take this to subscribe to my channel. I think Talon should get 1,000 subscribers by Contra by end of this year, so please subscribe, it's a massive help. It would have been so much easier and cleaner to pass it off to do this process. You want to do three coats. Just allow an hour interview between every coat. Only do coats when it's sticky, not complete dry. After a couple of long days, you're ready to sand and cut your carbon fiber fabric. I first started sanding with 320 Abronet and a 00 steel wool, which is the finest you can get. Now you're ready to polish it and make it nice and shiny. I use a rubbing compound which basically cuts into the epoxy and makes it super shiny. It's used for automotive vehicles so. And before you use the polish that contains the high water content, make sure the epoxy is super cured, otherwise you get a really weird cloudy finish which is really hard to get rid of. This is just a gloss polish for a car. It actually works really well for carbon fiber. Now you're done, a stare at the beauty. Mmm, shiny. I'm going to grab my wooden force hammer and let's see how strong this piece of plastic really is. See, look, the plastic broke. I can't find this fine, so if that's a battery, the battery would be fine probably. Duct tape, duct tape fits is everything. That's what we're going to do. So, it tastes quite strong. And I've been doing it for many other things. Perhaps apply fiberglass. I'm perhaps I do a 3D printed snowboard and then cover it in carbon fibre. That might work, that'd be awesome. So, I'm really pleased how this variant turned out. As you can see, this part is amazing. It's like mirror polish, so glassy. And now I found a perfect way of turning something. This will get beaten and battered by the elements, and it's dropped on curbs. Just having it last long and protect my 18650 batteries, because these will blow up, they're like go boom. So I think this has really put my rest to mind and made me feel a lot more comfortable with my electric longboard. So hope you like this. I hope you're inspired to try experiments and try new things for 3D printing. So, yeah, see, see you guys soon.